Hello and welcome to another one of those videos where I talk about updates on the Steam version of Dwarf Fortress coming from Toadie and Kit Fox. Today we have another Steam post, this time covering wells and water. Tarn has been working on the construction menu as I noted in the last video and he noted in the blog post that I featured in the last video, uh, but it's not done yet. So instead we'll be taking a look at water and uh, well, anim well water animations specifically. So one of the first things noted in the post is that they haven't finished w uh, the animations for water flowing from sources off the map. So we just have a steady water animation here. Uh, well, not even. A steady image of water here. And uh, Tarn constructed a leveled platform one level above the water to build a well to demonstrate well and well animations. Now we've moved one level up, and you can see the kind of platform with the little constructed well on it. I like the way the well looks quite a bit. Uh, again, it kind of fits into the previous complaints I've had about perspective, but uh, at this point, uh, I'm barking up the wrong tree, I think. Anyway, so we're one Z level up above the water, and that is our constructed well. Tarn notes that this one is using a rope, but you can also use a chain. I wonder if they're going to change the look of it if you use a chain. Now in this one, Tarn was a little bit sneaky and uh, deleted all of the alcohol for the poor dwarves. So instead of being able to drink their precious booze, they're forced to drink nasty water. And as you can see, they're all running over and the little bucket is going down into the standing water as it's not flowing yet. But uh, I really like this little animation. I was, this is actually more detailed than I was expecting. Currently, the, the vanilla game doesn't show anything going down into the water uh, when they're using the well. Wells are just kind of like a little O on the ground, and you don't really see anything going down underneath it. And if you do, it's so brief that I've never noticed it. But I, I really quite like the way this little animation looks. I think it looks very nice and very clearly describes where the bucket is going. Now here in this final screenshot, we have two workshops we haven't seen before. On the far right, we have a quern, and on the left, we have a screw press. And then we just have this kind of little building area that Tarn was working on as part of debugging with boulders everywhere as he dug them out very quickly. Now, I, I just kind of want to ask you guys about animations. Like, what other kind of little animations are you hoping to see in the Steam version? I'm actually pleasantly surprised to see animations on the well in the first place because, you know, it, it's Dwarf Fortress. Like, this isn't a game that's going to be fully animated from what we can tell. I know Tarn has suggested the possibility of maybe having smooth animations moving from tile to tile, but personally, I, I don't very much expect to see that. Everything in Dwarf Fortress is temporary and it's always been that way, so maybe in the future we can see something like that happen, but I don't know. I'm curious to hear what you guys think about this little blog post as it was kind of a temporary one uh, because the the one that wanted to happen today just isn't ready yet in the construction screen. Also, check out this little wild chinchilla here in the center of the screen that just kind of wandered in while Tyron was working. Isn't just like the kind of magic of how things just kind of naturally happen in Dwarf Fortress just wonderful even like during debug testing they're just spotting, hey look, wild chinchilla. Oh, hey, if you're still here, I, I stream a whole lot of Dwarf Fortress and uh, put all the VODs up on this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching these update videos. If you'd like to support them, I have a Patreon. It's down in the description. Also, of course, sign up for Kit Fox's mailing list if you want these sent direct directly to your email. Well, not these videos, but the actual images themselves and blog posts. Thanks for watching.